Hey fellow creators and do-it-yourself enthusiasts, welcome to another episode of Waylight Extra, where we talk a little bit about what's going on with all things Waylight Creations and share with you some of the awesome do it yourself that we find on the interwebs. The first thing I wanted to talk about was the Superman logo that we recently created. As many of you may have heard in the previous video, we'll be doing a series of these. We're actually going to do the founding members of the Justice League and then see where it goes from there. One of the problems that has come up concerning that, however, is the color of the resin that we'll use in the Batman logo, which is the next one we'll be making. Common sense would say to make the inside yellow like the original logo, but we thought that would match the Superman logo too much. So we've toyed with the idea of using a blue resin instead. Rather than us deciding though, we thought we would let you guys decide using the new YouTube pull card. So let us know which one we should use, yellow or blue. A couple of weeks ago I had created a list on our website that contained the names of a few woodworking channels on YouTube. I posted that list in a woodworking group on Facebook and asked for a little help growing the list. The response was amazing and now the list is quite large. But I think we can go bigger. So if you have a woodworking channel here on YouTube or know of someone that does, please let us know by visiting the link in the description and commenting on that article with a link to your channel so that we can get you added to the list. I also created another list in a series of YouTube collections that we are working on. The first one was a collection of dovetail videos. So you can check that out if you're interested and leave us a comment if you think something needs added to that list. Of course, links to all of these are in the description below. As far as upcoming projects, we have a few a walnut, cherry, and maple end table, the Batman logo of course, and Amy is working on a resin cast pendant. So stay tuned for all of those in the upcoming weeks. So here's the rundown of content we enjoyed this past week, some of it new, some of it old, but all of it's worth checking out. Ashley King restored an old fret saw. It's really cool and the choice of color was just awesome. Over on the Tommy G Workshop channel, there was a very cool father and son project. It's a pizza cutter, and it's worth checking out. Now this one's older, but well worth the read. Over on Peter Brown's website is an article with some tips on buying tools on Craigslist. It's definitely worth checking out if you plan on picking up some new tools on Craigslist. If you want to know how to make a spline jig for picture frames and whatnot, you can find a pretty cool video on the Southern Ginger channel where he makes one. And one that we thought was really cool is a branding iron made out of aluminum. It was made over on the Drez or Drez 2001 channel. So that's it for this episode, guys. As always, the links to anything we talked about are in the description. Thanks for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. And until the next video, be safe and stay creative.